So Central Maine Power, which is reporting 14,000 outages, and Amira Maine, which is reporting about 10,000, are bracing for the impacts of this wind and rainstorm. Hannah Deneen joins us live in the elements. She's got her hat back. Good to see. Hannah, how are you holding up and what's going on out there? Hey Lee, it's, uh, it's certainly wet and windy out here. I did get my hat back, lots of that earlier in the show tonight. Now, as you said, Central Maine Power and Amera, they're both working to restore power right now. They're concerned about this weather that's coming in right now. This, it really, it couldn't come at a worse time for Maine's power companies. That's because they are still working to restore power from that snowstorm we saw on Thursday and Friday. And in this time of coronavirus, they're facing other unprecedented challenges. Now, take a look at some of this video. Now, it's all taken uh, today, but of course, you're seeing some lingering damage from that Thursday snowstorm. And now both CMP and Amera have adjusted their working practice to encourage social distancing in the time of coronavirus. For example, teams of workers are driving individual cars to jobs and they're distancing while they're on the job too. And that is slowing down the restoration process just a bit. Now Central Maine Power CEO Doug Hurling says back-to-back -back storms like these are challenging and they're rare. For 35 years dealing with storms, I can remember all of them. We have only had one time where another storm came before we were cleaned up, and that was the famous ice storm of 1998, but we didn't lose resources. So we're in a spot that I haven't seen for the past 35 years where we uh, have a second storm coming in, uh, still have cleanup to do, and then we lost half of our resources. That's unprecedented. So those resources that he's referencing, it's actually workers from other states who typically would come to Maine to help out with restorations. But they've all gone back to their home states or in Amera's case to Canada to help out with some restoration on the home front. Now, as this wind continues to blow and the rain continues to come down, both CMP and Amera, they're just urging folks to be patient. They understand a lot of people are working from home right now and that it's more important than ever for them to have power so they are are doing their best to get that back up as timely as possible.